Welcome to Sana Animam Fitness. I'm Diane and I am here to guide you on your journey to happiness through better health and fitness. So come along with me. This is going to be a total body workout for you. The only piece of equipment that you will need is a set of light dumbbells. If you don't happen to have that with you at home, you can just grab a couple of water bottles or a couple of canned goods. They'll work just as well to add that little bit of resistance that we're looking for today. Other than that, you'll need your water bottle and maybe a mat if you're, doing, if you're working out on a hard surface. So grab those things and meet me back here. For the workout today, the format is gonna be, we're gonna be doing 50 seconds of work and then we'll have 10 seconds to transition into the next movement, which I will be guiding you through. We're gonna start with push-ups, and you'll see the different modifications listed here. I'm going to do the modification on my knees on the floor. I like to cross my ankles, you don't have to. Make sure you're keeping your back flat. We don't wanna be hunched up, and we don't wanna be arched up. And again, you're gonna do these as slow or as fast as your body would like to do them today. Remember, we're doing 50 seconds of work. If you need to stretch, it's getting to your shoulders. You can push back into a yoga child's pose to stretch that out. Now we're going to stand up, pick up our dumbbells, and we're going to go into a single arm row. So I'm going to step out one foot, make sure that I'm square, and row. Notice I'm thinking about pulling my elbow back and squeezing my shoulder blades together as I'm doing this single arm row. Now I'm gonna switch, making sure that I'm doing half on each arm. Squeezing my shoulder blades together, pulling with that elbow. Now we're going to go back to our warm up knee raises, only we're going to add a little bit to this. We're going to take our dumbbells and put them on their leg. Let it slide down to your knee as you're doing this knee raise. Now remember, you're picking your knees up as high as your body wants you to today. I would rather have you keep moving than try to get your knees too high and have it be too much. If the weight's too much, you can always put the weights down just go back to the same high knees that we did in the warm-up. Okay, we're gonna switch it up now. Back down on the floor, still with our dumbbells. Feet flat, and we're gonna do a floor press. Straight up. Make sure you're breathing when you do this. Some people have a tendency as they're doing reps to try to hold their breath. Definitely don't want to do that because your body needs the oxygen. So inhale and exhale. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. You should look straight ahead. I'm going to look at the camera every once in a while. We're gonna stay down on the floor, 
I'm going to put one of my dumbbells down. We're going to get ready, and we're going to do pullovers. So my arms are right straight up. I'm going to grab the dumbbell with both hands, and then just bend my elbows. So my whole arm isn't moving, just my arm from the elbow down. We're working our triceps here, and you can adjust your arms however you need to. Just make sure you don't drop the dumbbell on your head. Okay, and the last one, we're going to come back up to a standing position without the dumbbells. And we're going to do a minute of squats. Again, you can put your hands wherever you want to put them. Making sure that you're pushing back with your hips first. Also, keep your torso upright. We don't want to be hinging over. We want to be nice and upright as we're doing this. If you're a little unstable, you can always squat to a chair. Give yourself a little more security. Transitioning again, picking up those dumbbells, bringing them up to his shoulders. We're going to do a shoulder press. One arm at a time. Make sure that you're holding everything in your lower body nice and tight. Nice tight core. I'm being slightly strangled by my microphone cord, but that's okay. We'll work through it. Remember, these don't have to be fast, and you want to control it up and control it down. And transitioning. This time we're going to do curls and we're going to do a different combination starting with traditional bicep curls. Palm up. Now we're going to change and have our thumbs up for a hammer curl. Again, controlling it up and controlling it down. And last one, we're going to turn the back of our hand up for a reverse curl. And then we're going to transition, putting our dumbbells down. And our last movement for this workout is going to be the lunge. And again, Stepping out however wide your body is going to let you step out today. This is really good for your balance and for your strength.
And last one. And that was your workout for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that after you've worked out, you may take the time to hydrate. That doesn't mean coffee and tea, that means water. Um, I like to stay away from the sugary sports drinks. I'll drink water and watermelon is good. Cherry juice is good. There are a lot of uh, things that you can drink to hydrate that won't load your body with extra sugar. So investigate those. Stay hydrated and see you next time. Thanks for working out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. You know, hit that like button down there. Hit that little bell so you get notified when I post new videos, which I do every single week. So make sure you get those notifications. And check out my Facebook and Instagram pages. And I have a brand new program coming as well. So stay tuned.